So 37 weeks today. Kelsey calls me on my work. She's like, get down here now. We're having a baby, damn it. So here we are. <laughs> she didn't say that. Let me tell them what happened. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. I'm like freaking out. Well, like literally I, this angle and like I've been crying because I feel bad. But you feel bad. I miss Rocky so much. But pretty much. Can I sit up in this thing? These beds like freak me out. Oh. Okay, anyways, you're just gonna have to deal with how I look right now. But I went to my normal MFM appointment, 37 weeks, okay? And they gave me an ultrasound, which are in my purse if you wanna look at them. Uh -huh. My purse. Where is it? Right here. What do you mean? Move it over there, but my ultrasound are in there if you wanna look. But so they gave me like 30 minutes for the baby to like pass all her tests so practice breathing uh good movement and then like they checked like the fluid and overall like baby you know and she wasn't really moving she was breathing like she's fine but she wasn't moving she literally moved on minute 30 so i was like oh god and then after that i get the stress test or non-stress test where they like monitor me with my belly so I have like these bands on and uh, the baby's heart rate sounded good you could probably hear it I don't know if you can but I thought it sounded good she's just moving a lot but with my two vessel cord they were she was having dips in her heart rate and they like they didn't like that I was too low so they admitted me to labor and delivery <laughs> and I'm getting induced today Literally 37 weeks on the dot. Yep. Was not expecting this today. No, she was 35. Really? Yeah. Our neighbor had their baby at 35 weeks. But yeah, so she'll be here today or tomorrow. Hopefully today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really thirsty and I can't drink or eat. They said no. No. Can I go with <laughs> Matt wants to die and I'm not hungry but I'm thirsty and then I don't know what they're gonna do the so I'm getting induced I don't know the exact name but of like the medicine I was induced with Pitocin with Rocky I don't know what they're doing this time I'll have to see but it's different and then hopefully it works and we have a baby today I literally cannot believe this is happening and I feel like, thank God we set everything up, Matt. I know, I was thinking that. Literally, like, we set everything up like yesterday. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's about it. So I guess I'll update you with any news or Matt will, probably Matt will be vlogging for me because I'm like already in pain. Yeah. I'm having contractions right now when I wasn't before, so that's kind of weird. Did they give her medicine? Did they? No. But yeah, so we'll just see you guys in a little bit. It's 5.50, almost 6. We got some medicine. Wait, how do I you do this? I got admitted. So I got admitted around like 12.30ish. And it's 5.50? Mm, yeah. Um, I got my medicine to like soften my cervix. I don't know what it, what is it called? Do you know? No. Cervatec or I don't know. Something like that. Ibuprofen. Um, I'm having contractions on my own. Which is so weird because it's literally I lay down in the bed and I'm having contractions. <laughs> but I guess that's good. And then at 7-ish they're going to check me again to see if I'm progressing from the medicine. And then... Yeah, kind of assess from there. Hopefully I can drink some water. It is freezing in here. It literally feels like 40 degrees. Yeah. Matt's complaining. And I ate a so Matt ate firehouse <laughs> subs in front of me. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> but no, I can eat in, at 7-ish. Either clear liquids or a real meal if I'm not progressing, so I kind of hope I am progressing and I just have to drink liquid. 
I hope they freaking start a fire in here. It's freezing. Oh my god, man. Oh. <laughs> so nice. And yeah, I'm just trying to get comfortable. My IV's in like the worst spot ever. I can't even bend my wrist. What is an ice pack on your arm? No, it's my blood pressure thing. Oh. And yeah, we're watching Impractical Jokers. Of course. <laughs> I love it. And I'm not comfortable, but we'll live. Could do this at home. I'll be a doula. No. And then that's the plan. We'll update you. There's no update right now. I'll for dinner, if you can eat. Or maybe well, I'll I, have, I can uh, eat or drink. Or I'll get like no, if, some surf and turf and you can have ice chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I have to eat a liquid diet, no, so are you. Heck no, you're going to eat ice chips. Matt's going to have friggin' broth. Heck no. And I just want ice water. Honestly, I, like, I am hungry, but... I'm so thirsty. I so my appointment was at 10:30, so I haven't drank anything since 10:30. Oh my gosh! So I'm so thirsty, and I literally could drink 15 of those cups a day. So I'm dying right now. Yeah. But yeah, and even if I can eat, I don't really have like a taste for anything. Do you? Uh, I just had fire. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what up? What up? Got Chick-fil-A. They don't have mocha cream cold brews, mo mocha cream cold brews, but what are you gonna do? Kelsey's cramping up. I'm so hungry. My contractions are so strong. Well, not so strong, like they're gonna get worse. But, but we get to sleep tonight. Well, yeah, I definitely, Matt, I was upset about the cold brew, but like, I wanna sleep, so that's fine. Yeah. But I don't know how my contractions look cause they like turn off the monitors, you know? But they're getting stronger. I can feel them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat. We're watching White Chicks right now. <laughs> I love this movie. Um, and my phone's breaking, so that's awesome. Right before you have a baby, right? Have nothing to do when I'm here, <laughs> and then I can't take pictures of her. But I can't wait to freaking meet her. For real. I'm like falling apart over here. No, I don't have eyes. You wanna go get me some? Where is it? I don't know. Just bring the table over here. Yeah. But we're gonna eat. And then we'll catch up with you when we know something. <gasps> Your drink's about to fall. Your drink's falling. It literally tipped. Well, it's about to. Matt's in a mood. <laughs> but, ow. Where are you, how are you gonna? I don't know. Table? I'll have to sit crisscross help sauce. But we will just catch up with you when we know something because nothing's happening. So it is about 10 o'clock. <laughs> She's going to try and finally get some sleep. They moved my IV finally. It's right here instead of like right here. But they literally poked me like four times. But it feels so much better. I couldn't even like wipe my own freaking butt. <laughs> I literally couldn't do anything. It's like at the bend of my wrist. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to sleep. They can't check me to see like if I'm whatever because I have something like inside of me, you know, medicine. Um, but oh, that's why. Yeah, at 5 a.m. This is done. So then I'm sure they'll check me. But my contractions are getting way stronger. They hurt, but. I'm gonna try to go as long as I can without medicine, because I know when they get really bad, I'm gonna want something and I, like nothing. The epidural stronger, now. You know? So that's the update. What did, when did they say you could get the epidural? I could get the epidural anytime. But like once, like when can't you get it? Like nine centimeters. Oh, uh, so I guess we'll find well, I'll find. I'll definitely one. get the epidural like. In the morning. But. I'm saying like other pain medicine. Yeah. Like I don't want to get it right now and then I want the epidural. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the update. I finally ate. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah. I was starving and drinking water. Like it feels so good, but I can't drink water after 11, right? Yeah. Or yeah. So 
That's the plan. But I'm gonna try to sleep. Yep. We'll uh, update you when we get one. Maybe there'll be some action next. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it is currently like 5.40 a.m. They woke me up at 5 to shower me and um, take out the medicine I had in. And then they hooked me up to an IV, so now I'm getting antibiotics and just fluids right now. And then they are going to start me on Pitocin. My contractions are getting a little stronger. They're honestly like really bad period cramps right now, but they hurt. And then my legs and like down there hurt so bad from that medicine. Like showering was the hardest thing. <laughs> I couldn't even lift my leg up. But um, I feel so much better after I was able to shower and like brush my teeth and wash my face. Because I, I couldn't do it before bed. But now I'm watching some HGTV Matt's up. He's over there. He's gonna go get coffee. I can just have water, which thank God. And hopefully there's some progress. And we have a baby today. Yep. And yeah, it's just very weird to think that we're gonna have a baby today. <laughs> like I don't know. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to talk to Rocky in the morning. I miss him so much. It's very, like, breaks my heart that I couldn't say goodbye to him like I wanted to. But I think he'll be excited, right? Huh? Rocky. Oh, yeah, I will. Definitely. Like, we'll walk in with the car seat and he'll be like, wow. <laughs> I just can't wait to see him. I miss him. But right now I'm not in too much pain, thank God. It's just very uncomfortable to like get comfortable because I'm like hooked up to blood pressure. I have like my IV in. I'm hooked up to the baby monitor and my contraction monitor. So it's very difficult to get comfortable. And then every time like I do, my hands go numb. I've been having this problem for like a couple of weeks but my hands go numb so it's so uncomfortable and then I have to move again and it's just not fun but I guess we'll just update you when I start the Pitocin and yeah I think that's it do you have anything else to say um, ready to have a baby? yeah what time did we go to bed Nine. So like 9.30 I took that medicine. Yeah. I took like a, what's it called? Advam, Advam. I don't know, to help me sleep. And then I didn't really get good sleep because they keep waking me up to like adjust the monitor and take vitals and stuff. But I mean, I'm not tired, so that's good. But um, I'll probably be tired soon. And, yeah, that's the only update. So we will just catch up with you, hopefully, like, when we start Pitocin, like, any time now so we can get this show on the road. At 5 a.m., the nurse, did I already say this? I don't remember what I said last, but whatever. The nurse, like, he got my shower ready, and I showered, and I started to be on antibiotics and, like, fluid, and I was allergic to the antibiotics. So they're giving me antibiotics because um, I got my GSB test on Monday and they haven't got the results back. So I'm hoping that they got them, but they were giving me antibiotics just in case if I did have it. Um, and yeah, I was allergic to it. So I, what did they call it? Red man syndrome? Yeah, I had red man syndrome. My, all of a sudden, my head was so itchy. Like, I literally was itching like crazy. I was like, what the hell? And then my palms and my feet were really itchy. It's time to deliver. <laughs> what if they come in? Um, 
but they took me off the antibiotics, gave me Benadryl, and that knocked me out, so that was nice. And then I woke up at, well, I kept coming in again, because the baby just moves a lot. And I'm having a stronger contraction. I'm gonna get checked again around 10. I mean, it's 10, 10 now, but I should be getting checked soon. Put a little bet on What do you think I'm dilated to? Three. I was gonna say three, two. I hope more. I hope it's not one, though. It's like eight. Um, oh. I'm gonna bet, I don't know what to bet. Three. You think three? Yeah. I think two. All right, I think three. I hope more. Whoever wins gets to pick the TV. No, I get to pick everything. Two. Oh, but I was having contractions, I brushed my teeth, and I wasn't feeling them, and she was like, are you not feeling? <laughs> yeah, she had like four big like, old ones. When I move around, it doesn't hurt, but when I'm laying here, they hurt. Like I'm surprised they would give you the epidural now. Yeah, when I delivered Rocky, they wouldn't give me an epidural until I was at least four centimeters. Yeah. But I wouldn't get an epidural now anyway. No. And it took you forever. Four centimeters, it took forever with Rocky. Like over a day. I have a balloon. Yeah, but then it shrunk. The cervi cervical yeah. stuff. So that makes my uh, cervix soft. So now the Pitocin is dilating. You know? Yep. So hoping I'm dilating. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's the update. I guess I'll let you know when they check me. And yeah, I want to ask if they have a ball. Like a bouncy one? You can't bounce with cords, can you? I don't know, I have cords in there. Yeah, true. I have cords right here. Because the ball feels so good at home. Mm hmm. And then I also want to ask them for that peanut ball. Remember when I was. Laboring with Rocky, they put it between my legs. It's like a peanut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, you should. Yeah, I can't stop yawning. It's a long process. Mm -hmm. well, at least for me. And then when I get tired, like when I sleep, they wake me up. Do they, are they gonna have to manually break your water? If they can, they might break my water. I had to pee in a... What is it? A bowl. That little tin can I showed him. I had to pee in that. And then Matt was just staring at me. I was like, keep going. Like, I feel so, like, vulnerable. Yeah. It's very... Like, if you're a private person, don't have a baby. Because nope. they don't Get a doula. Care. Literally, you're naked. And I'm just like, okay. Get a doula. I'm pretty sure. No, I just feel like having a kid in general. True. Yeah. But, yeah. Turn it off. They <laughs> upped her Pitocin level. I'm standing. They're about to break her water, though. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So, as I came in, they checked me, but it feels good to stand. I feel like I'm, like, birthing naturally. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh! Standing, no drugs. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. No, <laughs> my back's open. <laughs> and then I peed again. Yep. And, yeah, that's it. Do I look awful? I feel like my pants is going downhill. Mm -mm. I can't walk too far, but. Let's see. Our baby's gonna be in there. I know. But we'll see you when we get our water breaking. Yeah, I guess. I'll be in, sitting in my own fluid while my hair looks nice. And I'll be getting lunch. <laughs> Matt's such a... I'll be on my river kayaking. Literally last night, I could have killed him. No. Ow. Yeah, I could have. Because... <laughs> Matt just wanted me to tell you. It's so fucked up. I don't even do it. Well, when... Someone wakes me up, I can't fall back asleep. So they woke me up and I couldn't fall back asleep. And then I was crying. Why? 
I miss Rocky. Because <laughs> she didn't get to say goodbye to him. I literally was crying. And Matt's just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to do? That's so... If the nurse came in and I was bawling, that would have been so weird. But I was literally crying a lot. Because I missed him. I miss him so much. And I, like, when I was at my appointment yesterday and they walked me down here, I was crying. Because mm -hmm. I didn't get to say goodbye to him. And I was really upset. And then they were like, oh, you'll be fine. I was like, that's not why I'm crying. Did you tell him why? <laughs> well, the lady's kind of weird. She, like, was running in front of me. And I was like, hold on. I'm trying. So you had to go from 18 all the way down? Well, we took an elevator. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Take the stairs. Yeah. Slide down the railing. Yeah. But I really want to get this show on the road here. They got my Pitocin, so that's nice. Yep. I don't know what's beeping. Yeah, there's a lot of noises that it's like kind of concerning. It might be my blood pressure machine because my arm's like. It says weak signal. So they'll be in here in a minute. So we'll update you when we can. So we officially broke. I broke her water. It's. 3.05 and I got checked at like 2.30. Yeah. I was three centimeters and they broke my water and I'm literally dripping <laughs> as we speak. Um, but my contractions are getting so much worse. So I think I'm gonna ask for not epidural, but a different pain medicine that will knock me out, which will be nice because then I can just dilate in my sleep, you know? We filled out our baby book. Let's go show them the baby book. And like the thing over there. Yeah, they got it all set up. We have it over there. Got so the baby book. Outfit. Look at how small this diaper is compared to Rocky's. I know. It's all ready. But um, they upped my Pitocin. So when I first started getting Pitocin, it was at like a three. I'm at 16 now. Oh, wow. So, that's good. My contractions are super steady and consistent. And they hurt like a mother. <laughs> and I think that's the only update. Uh, I probably won't get like checked again until... Probably five, five or six. Something. I guess it just depends on like how I'm doing. But I think it's usually every four hours or so. And, oh, I was using the peanut ball. Yeah. So I That's used, creepy looking. I know, I used the peanut ball when I was in labor with Rocky, and that, like, helped me dilate a lot. So I use that when I, like, lay down, obviously. So I'll probably use that again. Yeah, and you've been using your pillow a lot. Yeah, definitely bring a pillow. I brought a pillow when I delivered Rocky, but, like, it just is nice to have your own pillow. Especially because a pregnancy. Give you, like super thin ones and the blankets I wouldn't personally bring because you get messy and stuff and it's like gross but and then they could just change them but pillow I definitely recommend bringing especially if you have a pregnancy though because it's so uncomfortable to sleep and I think that's it I had broth and jello for lunch I was talking with Maz like I can't wait to have pizza <laughs> Yeah, I went to the food court. He literally just comes back. They have pizza. They have this. Pokey, everything. Okay. But I want to have pizza and french fries. <laughs> it sounds so good. And I just can't wait to meet her. I know. I'm so excited. I Ready just, to bring her home. I'm trying to go as long as I can without drugs. But I have. Mm-hmm. I'm proud. That last one was And I've been like up. Painful. I can't get up now because I'm literally dripping. I'd get everywhere. Literally, they like, popped my water and then she sat me up like this so I could drip out. And I felt like I peed everywhere. And it's still coming. That was 30 minutes ago. Jeez. Yeah, it is not like the movies where it just water falls out and you're done. Well, I'm sure for some people, but. Maybe, no. yeah. Apparently, my water bags are hard to break. Yeah. But. They popped my water with Rocky, too. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, that's the update. And with Rocky, it took you forever to get to like three. Well, well it has been a while too. Well, with this 
delivery compared to Rocky. So, like, my body was not ready to go into labor with Rocky. Like, I literally made myself because I wanted Matt there. So, my body, like, was not prepared. So, it was starting from, like, zero to, like, you know. Yeah. This time, I literally... Well, I was only dilated a centimeter, but I could feel my body, like, getting ready. And then I started having contractions as soon as I laid down. Kelsey's feeling good. She got her meds. I got... What is it? I don't even know. <laughs> Something with an S. Sadal. Yeah. But Sadal. My contractions are really painful, but I don't want to get an epidural yet. Yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna enjoy it. So this makes me drowsy, and she said it makes you feel high. Good. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> It's working. <laughs> we'll see when I get a contraction in like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Kelsey's a fluffing badass boy. She had her epidural and then she kept telling him like, I, don't f I still feel it, like come on, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, we'll give you this. But then they checked after like five times of her telling him and it wasn't even in, it fell out. I don't even know how it happens, but her feet look like Shrek, and she's <laughs> killing like it. Balloons. They do. Watch the viewfinder. Oh, yeah, just put the viewfinder down. Because oh. you can't see this in my feet. My feet are so small. What the hell, boy? Is yeah, my it is. Small, I feel like puppy. No. Just your feet. My contractions were hurting so badly. I was like, this isn't right. And then I have like a button where I can press if I need more epidural. And normally you feel like a sensation of it going through your spine. I didn't feel anything, so I kept telling them. And they're like, oh, well, we'll put this. And then it wasn't even it. And then they have a monitor in me to like internally monitor my contractions because they weren't really showing up on the thing with my belly. Um, and then what else is it? She's at five, five centimeters yeah, now. Five centimeters. It's about um, 10.45 a night. I've so. been here since 12.30 yesterday, but I haven't been in labor since 5.30 this morning. Yeah. So, how long? I don't know, man. I don't have to cool on. <laughs> A long time. 5.30 a.m. 12 plus 10. 12 plus, oh my god, 36 hours we'll go with. No, I've only been in labor since 5.30 Oh. Years. So like, 17 hours? Well, we've been here for a while. But they didn't put me into labor until we started Pitocin. So that was this morning. But... That's the update. I'm hoping I have this peanut ball in between my legs, which helps you dilate more. So I'm hoping that I do. And we can have a baby today. Yep. Do you think, what time is it? 10.45. Do you think we'll have one? Probably early tomorrow. I think we'll have one at like 2 a.m. Her Three. brother's birthday. Yeah, it's my little brother's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> But, That'll be cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. My feet feel like needles in them. Like they're so like tingly. Mm hmm. But that's the only update. I don't know what else to say. Well, uh, let you know when we update. She's gonna try and go 9 8. Mm hmm. So it is 12 50, almost 1 in the morning, and she woke me up saying she's nine centimeters somehow. Mm -hmm. So we're about to. The peanut ball. Yeah, the peanut ball. So we're about to push her out. Mm -hmm. I have to shake. So do I, it's I'm freezing. I'm nervous now. Me too. <laughs> uh, so next time you see us, we'll have a baby. Because they don't let me. Well, I probably wouldn't film that anyway, but they don't let you film during the. Yeah.